Hi, this is Rob. We're going to find the slope of a line when given two points on that line. The first problem will be a positive slope problem. The two points are negative 4, negative 1, and 0, 2. Press the stat button. We want number 1, edit, so press the 1 button. If you have data here from a previous problem, delete it by arrowing up to the top, press the clear button, then press the enter button. We're going to use L1 and L2. Enter the X values of the two points in L1 and the Y values of the two points in L2. In L1, enter a negative 4. Make sure you use the negative button here and not the minus button. Negative, 4, enter. Also in L1, enter a 0. 0, enter. Right arrow to L2. In L2, enter a negative 1. Enter and enter a 2. 2, enter. This is the negative 4, negative 1 point, and this is the 0, 2 point. Now press the stat button. Arrow over to calc. We want number 4, line reg AX plus B. So press the 4 button. Make sure X list is L1 and Y list is L2. Arrow down to calculate. Press the enter button. This is the equation of the line that goes through those two points. A is the slope and B is the Y intercept. Thus the equation of the line is Y equals 0.75X plus 2. The slope is 0.75. If you get a decimal number, it may be possible to convert that decimal to a normal fraction. Press the clear button to go back to the home page. Enter the decimal number in this case a 0.75. Press the math button. We want number 1, frac, for fraction. Press the 1 button. Now press the enter button. There is the fraction, 3 fourths. Be aware that sometimes the calculator cannot convert a decimal into a fraction. Before I show you that, if you are getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. For example, 0.8333. Press the math button. Press 1 for fraction. Press the enter button. It just returns the decimal number. That means that the TI-84 cannot convert that decimal into a fraction. Remember that the equation of the line was y equals 0.75x plus 2. To graph this line, press the y equals button. If you have any equations on this page, clear them all or deactivate them. An equation is active when the equal sign has a black box on it. To deactivate an equation, move the cursor on the equal sign and press the enter button. Now this Y2 equation is deactivated and will not graph when we press the graph button. To clear an equation, move the cursor just after the equal sign and press the clear button. In Y1, enter 0.75x plus 2. Now press the graph button. This is the graph. A positive slope looks like this. If your graph does not look like this, press the zoom button. We want number 6, Z standard. Press the 6 button. In the equation for this line, this is the Y intercept and we see that the line crosses the y-axis here at 2. I'll go back to the home screen by pressing the clear button and press the clear button again. Problem number 2, a negative slope problem. The two points are 2, 6 and 6, 2. Press the stat button. We want number 1, edit, so press the 1 button. We're going to use L1 and L2. If you have any numbers in them, delete them. Enter the X values of the two points in L1 and the Y values of the two points in L2. This is the 2, 6 point and this is the 6, 2 point. Now press the stat button. Error over to calc. We want number 4, line reg AX plus B. So press the 4 button. Make sure X list is L1 and Y list is L2. Arrow down to calculate. Press the enter button. 
This is the equation of the line that goes through those two points. A is the slope and B is the y-intercept. Thus, the equation of the line is y equals negative 1x plus 8. It is more common to write y equals negative x plus 8. The slope is negative 1. To graph this line, press the y equals button. I am going to deactivate the y1 equation by moving my cursor over the equal sign, then pressing the enter button to clear that black box on the equal sign. Move my cursor to y2. The y1 equation is deactivated because there's no black box over the equal sign. In y2, enter negative x plus 8. When we press the graph button, it will only graph the y2 equation. Press the graph button. This is the graph. A negative slope looks like this. In the equation for the line, the y-intercept is a positive 8. The line crosses the y-axis at positive 8. Press the clear button to go back to the home screen. Problem number 3. A zero slope problem. The two points are negative 6, negative 6, and negative 2, negative 6. Press the stat button. We want number 1, edit, so press the 1 button. We're going to use L1 and L2. If you have any numbers in them, delete them by going to the top, press the clear button, then press the enter button. Enter the x values of the two points in L1 and the y values of the two points in L2. This is the negative 6, negative 6 point, and this is the negative 2, negative 6 point. Now press the stat button. Arrow over to calc. We want number 4, line reg, ax plus b, so press the 4 button. Make sure x lists as l1 and y lists as l2. Arrow down to calculate. Press the enter button. This is the equation of the line that goes through those two points. A is the slope, and B is the y-intercept. Thus, the equation of the line is y equals 0x minus 6 is more common to write y equals negative 6. The slope is 0. To graph this line, press the y equals button. I'm going to deactivate the y2 equation. The y1 equation is already deactivated because there is no black box on the equal sign. Arrow down to the equal sign on the Y2 and press the Enter button. Now the Y1 nor Y2 equations will graph because there's no black box on the equal sign. Arrow down to Y3 and to the right of the equal sign. In Y3, enter a negative 6. Now press the Graph button. This is the graph. A zero slope looks like this. A zero slope is a horizontal line, and in this case, crosses the y-axis at y equals negative 6. Press the clear button to go back to the home screen. Problem number four, an undefined slope problem. The two points are 2, negative 2, and 2, negative 6. Press the stat button. We want number 1, edit, so press the 1 button. We're going to use the L1 and L2. If you have any numbers in them, delete them by going to the top, press the clear button, then the enter button. Enter the x values of the two points in L1 and the y values of the two points in L2. This is the 2, negative 2 point, and this is the 2, negative 6 point. Now press the stat button. Arrow over to calc. We want number 4, line reg AX plus B, so press the 4 button. Make sure X list is L1 and Y list is L2. Arrow down to calculate. Press the enter button. We get an error message. This means that the slope is undefined. Undefined slopes are vertical lines. When the x values are the same, it will be a vertical line. Thus, the equation of the line is x equals 2. The reason the TI-84 gave an error message 
is because to calculate the slope of a line, the equation is this. The slope equals the change in y over the change in x, or the rise over the run. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So when we plug in the numbers for those two points, we get this. Dividing by zero is undefined. Thus, the TI-84 gives us an error message. To graph this line, make a vertical line that passes through the x-axis at x equals 2. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.